In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create animations without drawing anything. Uh, this animation of the Earth the rotating around the Sun has all been done with imported images uh, from the internet or from PNG files on the computer. So let's get started. All right, first things first, uh, let's go down to the menu and launch Synfig uh, out of the graphics category. So go up to graphics and down to the S's where you'll find Synfig Studio, click on that. We wanna make sure we're still shooting in full screen resolution. So I'm gonna have you go over to the edit menu, click on that, then go down to the bottom and click on preferences. The preferences window will come up. Uh, what we wanna do is click on documents. So do that. Here we want the width to be set to 1920 and the height to be set to 1080. So make those changes if they're not already done and then click on okay. Okay, so this tutorial is going to be all about importing. So why don't we import our background as well. So what I want you to do is go to File, click on that, and then go down to where you see Import and click there. Okay, so I have on, my, on the desktop a folder full of media stuff. So I want you to find Desktop on the side here and click on that. Okay, uh, over here, the folder called Media. Uh, click on that and then either double click on it to open it or just come down to where it says Import and click on that. Okay, so that'll open up that folder, and we want to click on the one that says Backgrounds, and then double click on it to open it. Okay, in uh, Backgrounds, you're going to see these pictures, at least this many. Some might have been added since then. Uh, find the one that just calls itself Space PNG, and click on it, and then uh, double click it to accept it, or click on Import down here. Okay, so we can either click on Space here and the labels of uh, the different layers uh, to select it, and then when it's selected, you'll see this appear on it. To stretch it bigger in all directions, you're going to find this one in the corner and just pull it outwards. And you'll see it get a little bigger. And then if it's not quite big enough yet, just do it again until you fill in the whole space. Okay, so before we get too much farther, let's click on File and click on Save or Save As. Make sure you're in the Desktop Student folder of your name and in the SigFig folder and just go ahead and name this as solar rotation or something like that and then click save so we need to import some other pictures uh, we're going to just get them off the web so go down to the bottom corner where you see the firesoft fox browser icon and click on that if the page that opens isn't already on www.google.com, then I want you to put it to www.google.com so we get the Google search bar. Okay, so since I've done this search already, um, oh, actually I haven't. I want you to type sun um, and then hit uh, enter. So first you're going to get the web pages that mention sun, but we want images, so I want you to click on images. Now, the next thing I want you to click on is Tools, so do that. Tools brings up these extra drop-down menus on the bottom. Go to the one that says Usage Rights, click on the arrow there, and we want Labeled for Reuse with Modification. So these are images that people just put out there and they don't care about their copyright. They're going to let you do anything you want with them. Now the next thing is we don't want a big bring in a background while we bring in uh, the picture of the sun. So I want you to either click here where it says transparent or you can find it again under color where you can also click transparent. So do that. So you'll get a whole bunch of options. Some will look quite cartoony and some will look quite realistic. So click on one you like. Do that. And the important thing is what you click has to have this little gray checkerboard pattern appear behind it. That means it's a true transparent where nothing is going to show up as a background. So if you don't have this checkerboard showing up when you click on it, uh, go back and select another one. Okay, so you got one selected that has a checkerboard pattern. Right click on it and go to Save Image As and click on that. Okay, we're just going to have you put that in the downloads folder so you're going to click on downloads and then just make sure it has something that looks like a name that would describe what it is and then click save 
Okay, so your son should be saved in the uh, downloads folder. Now you can see I've opened a tab uh, and done exactly the same thing for Earth. And I switched it to transparent and I switched it for labeled for reuse with uh, modification. And then I got this selection. So that's what I want you to do now. Google search Earth, make a transparent selection and labeled for use with modification. Okay, then from what appears, make a selection. Make sure when your selection appears, it has this gray checkerboard pattern. If it doesn't, go back and select a new one. Okay, so now we know it has a checkerboard pattern, so right click on it and select Save As. Since we've already told it we want to save in downloads, it'll go there. So just make sure you like the, the name it's described in, and if you do, just go ahead and click Save. Otherwise, you can change the name and then click Save. Okay, that's it. We don't need our browser anymore. Go ahead to this upper right hand corner and click close. If you're doing this, um, if you didn't like the space one that is selected from the menu, you could always do exactly the same thing. Uh, search space and look for something that is relabeled uh, for modification. Um, and it doesn't matter if this one's transparent since it's going to cover the whole background. So there's another option. If you want, you can pursue getting another space background. Okay, so now we really don't need Firefox, so I'm going to have you go to the upper right hand corner and click the X. Alright, so now that we have those images and know where they are, we'll just go to File once again and go down to where it says Import and click on that. Okay, so it's pretty easy to switch to the Downloads folder because it's on the tabs on the side, so just click on Downloads. So it doesn't matter what order, I'm going to import Earth first. Let's try something. I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to find our sun right there. And it doesn't look like we can select two objects at a time. Uh, so you're going to have to select one and then say import. And then repeat the process and get the sun as well. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the whole thing to get the sun. File, import, it's going to open in the folder right away. Sun, import. Okay, so now each one of these is going to have this little element on it to size it. To size it in all directions at once, we want to click this node that's in the upper right and push it in towards the other section here. But it looks like I shrunk my background. So I'm going to control Z and I can see the problem is here is that that's what was selected, our background. So make sure you've selected here what you want to size and then size it down. Okay, do that. So I'm going to make my sun a little smaller because I want room to revolve around it. And then uh, I'm going to have you switch to Earth by clicking on to the left of its icon label. Okay, then just repeat the process push that in. So remember we need an earth that's going to be smaller and when you make it smaller it's going to be so small it disappears behind the sun. But go ahead and do that. Alright, so now that it's behind the sun let's just pull it out and see how big it is. <clears throat> and you might even want to go a little smaller. Or have a look around this size on your screen. Now I just want to point out that importing actually put all of these inside folders of their own. It works just like the group folder. Um, not even sure why they color it yellow. I haven't been able to see any difference between how these behave and when you group items on your own. Um, so you can do exactly what you can with a group player. And that means I can click on this, hold down control on the keyboard, and I can drag this so the sun, the center of the sun here is the pivot point. So that's what I want you to do. Move the pivot point of Earth so it's in the middle of the sun. Okay, so now we're ready to animate. I want you to go to this little green guy, click on him so it becomes a little red guy, and now you're in editing animation mode. So all we have to do is select where on the timeline we want our first uh, transition to end. And I'm going to go all the way to the finish here. And just you do the same. Get your marker, orange marker, so it's right on the end. All right, so each one of these nodes on uh, this little L-shaped dealie has its own function. We've explored this one 
this scales it. Um, we can uh, also shrink it by grabbing this one on the y-axis. We can shrink it on the x-axis with this one. Uh, this node skews it or makes it tilt from side to side. But right now what I want you to do is click on this node, the blue one, and then just start spinning it. If you go around once, we should get one revolution in the five seconds of our video. But why don't you go around twice, three times, and see what happens. So do that now. Okay, so let's try it out. Uh, we're going to click on Seek to Begin. Now just go over here and click on Play. And this is what you should see. The Earth now revolves around the Sun, and it does so three times in the five seconds of our video. So if you didn't get that, call your instructor over for a little help. That's the end of our tutorial. Before we go uh, into the review, I just click File and Save. Okay, so this is what was included in this lesson. Uh, we covered importing images, downloading images from the internet, respecting copyright by uh, picking something where they allow reuse, um, importance of transparent backgrounds. Uh, we didn't do any drawing, but under the drawing category, we did handle scaling of the images we imported, imported and we also edited the pivot point of an image so it would rotate around something else. Um, animation, uh, we covered how to switch the animation mode, how to set waypoints by clicking along the timeline, and then finding the blue rotation node um, so that we could rotate, uh, cause the rotation to happen. So one thing you could do to challenge yourself and make sure you understood all these lessons is to try and recreate the animation on your own. So you're welcome to try that, uh, but that's the end of this tutorial. See you on the next one.